In this demonstration, you are given an overview of the ANSYS licensing portal. Topics covered include signing on, viewing license entitlements, viewing usage reports, securing communication to your cloud license server, viewing account emails, and portal feedback. ANSYS Elastic Licensing is a pay-per-use licensing model that grants access to virtually every ANSYS product. Elastic licenses are accessed via a unique cloud license server for each customer. The ANSYS licensing portal provides you with functions necessary for administrating Elastic licensing. This demonstration will start on the ANSYS licensing portal sign-on page. To sign in to the ANSYS licensing portal, enter the email address and password you use to log in to the ANSYS customer portal and click sign in. The ANSYS licensing portal opens on the entitlements page. From this page you can view the elastic license entitlements associated with your accounts. The active and inactive entitlements on the cloud license server are displayed. Entitlements are displayed primarily by order of closest expiration date and then by usage percentage. Those entitlements with a higher usage percentage are displayed first. The number of days remaining until the license pool expires is displayed in the remaining days column. The color of the display changes from green to yellow when the number of days remaining is less than or equal to 90 and red when the number of days remaining is 30 or less. The total ANSYS Elastic Units prepaid allowance usage is displayed in the used percentage column. The color of the display changes from green to yellow when the usage percentage is 80 to 95 percent and red when the usage exceeds 95 percent. You can view the elastic license rate table details associated with the ANSYS elastic unit entitlement by clicking the appropriate link in the rate table column. This link redirects you to the consumption table PDF on the ANSYS website. Clicking the Usage Transactions option displays the current Elastic License usage details for completed sessions. Using the available drop-down menus, you can sort the usage transactions displayed by date or time and filter the transactions by user, project, and session ID. Enabling the Active Sessions option displays only active session usage. Additionally, you can export the displayed usage information using the Export as CSV file button. Please note that it takes a minimum of 15 minutes for usage logs to be displayed in the ANSYS licensing portal. Clicking the Summary Statements option displays a summary report for a specific account and date range. This summary report includes elastic license usage by purchase order details for all sessions. This report is the same summary statement that you will receive automatically at the beginning of each month. You can see event details by clicking the appropriate arrow. Clicking this option allows you to change the date range of the report. If you have usage in a given month, you will see a pie chart displaying the usage information. Additionally, you can export the report as a PDF file. Clicking the Access Credentials option displays details relating to the current cloud license server configuration. Note that a PIN is needed to enable communications from the ANSYS application to the cloud license server. From this page, you can see the cloud license server ID, change the cloud license server PIN, and export cloud license server information. To change a cloud license server PIN, enter the new six-digit PIN number and click the Change PIN button. Clicking the Export the CLS ID and CLS PIN button creates a JSON file containing the Cloud License Server ID and PIN number. The CLS ID and CLS PIN number should be specified on every system that accesses the Cloud License Server. For more information on this procedure, please review the ANSYS Licensing Portal User's Guide. Clicking the IP Settings option displays the IP address access rules that are defined for this cloud license server. You should add a rule for each IP address you want to give access to the cloud license server. If there are no rules defined, Elastic Licensing will accept traffic from any IP address. To add a rule, click the Add Rule button. 
enter a rule name and corresponding IP address, and click Save. After adding a rule, only IP addresses defined with a rule will have access to the server. Clicking the Emails option displays emails exchanged between the signed-in customer and the licensing portal. To view the details for a specific email, click the Show Detail button for the appropriate email. ANSYS welcomes feedback from you in the form of enhancement requests and comments on the current state of the ANSYS licensing portal. To provide feedback, select the Feedback option and describe your issue or suggestion here. Enabling the Include Screenshot option automatically displays a screenshot of your current location in the lower field of the dialog box. Clicking the Highlight or Hide option allows you to place a highlight or blackout box in the screenshot. When finished, click Send. This concludes this overview of the ANSYS Licensing Portal Administrative Functions.